Now we go from 8 sided to 16 sided, which just means planing the corners off. Again, this time there's 8 of them to plane off rather than 4, but they don't have to be planed off so deeply. And one of the other reasons for using a smaller planer is that it's got some nice V grooves in the base plate. Some nice V grooves there that help keep the plane on the corner when we set off. And with such a small spar, we can set the depth of the cut anything from nothing to two and a half millimetres. Hopefully, two, two and a half millimetres is going to be all we need here, reducing to about a millimetre, millimetre and a half at the other end. So by a bit of careful use of the depth knob, as we slide up the spur, we may just manage one, maybe two cuts to get rid of the corner each time. We'll just see how it goes. I'll just make a little plane on the end here, just to see how we're looking for depth. Locate the, the groove in the base plate on the too deep there. This is the end that's being tapered down to a square so we've got a bit there to play with. So I'll reduce the depth of cut slightly and try again. That's looking pretty good by the time we've got that and then we take the same off that corner we aren't going to be far out. We may just tweak it down a touch more. And we'll run up and see how we go. too bad. Rotate it slightly, back to two millimetres here and we're all about a millimetre and a little bit up the end. So as you can see there we've we're coming round and they're all reasonably equally sized corners. That's what we want, we're going to do that all the way round. And we're getting nearer to being a round mast. It's so easy to lose track of sides and everything else, which is why I do that. So now you can see from that, when I find a pencil, we can number these and we can extend the line across. So we've got one, two, three, four, and hopefully. If I can count and write at the same time, we'll end up with a 16 sided tapering piece of wood. So 
now that we've got that, we've got to try and make it 32 sided. And we do that by planing off the corners. So it's that's why it's helpful again to to have this line and have the sides numbered so you can actually see where you've been and what you've done because in a minute we're going to get sides that are actually only a quarter of an inch wide and it's easy to lose track. So now it's just a question of planing off the corners. So we're getting there. That's it. That's now hopefully thirty two sides to that. Maybe we'll have to count them lower down, but probably not up here so well. But it's getting rounder. There's several ways of doing the next step, which is to plane the corners off again, really. And one way is to get a round bottom plane and actually use that to shape it. Um, I may do that at the larger end. We'll see how it, how it pans out. These are the sorts of planes that can be used for shaping up small spars. Um, but even these are a bit bit generous in their radius for, for this. This one isn't too bad at this end. Um, but this one's for sort of four inch, five inch spars really. But it's a, a lovely old plane. It was actually made in 1897. So it's served quite a few boat builders, that one. But um, We'll just try this one. They can rip the grain quite a bit sometimes, so we'll just have a little play and see if it's going to work for us on this spur. It's really just a question of taking the corners off. too much. So that's got it reasonably rounded. The next stage really is my secret weapon which I will go and 
assemble. If you haven't got a 16 foot lathe, which I haven't, then instead of the wood spinning and the sandpaper staying still, it's easier to spin the sandpaper and keep the wood still. So I've just got a, a block of wood on a long bolt in an electric drill and a sanding belt. If we turn the sanding belt inside out, which they're a bit reluctant to do, but usually can be made to do it. That goes over the mast. That goes there. As so long as it's held down and isn't going to roll away, then just spin the spin the drill. The belt spins gently, working up and down the mast. Rotate the mast up and down. Rotate the mast up and down, and it makes it fairly round, pretty round if you if you're careful. So that's the plan. It's not too important to us to round that lower section because that's going to be planed away on a taper. Not bad. A few little places that still got planar marks on, but that bit there could do with smoothing a bit. And then we just got to do the top couple of foot. So there's our mast, more or less. What we need to do now is to just get our drawing, get our tape measure, make sure we're the right sort of sizes where we need to be the right sort of sizes, decide how we're going to plane up this lower section which is a, ends up as a tapering square into the mast step. <laughs> 